Now we're hearing about these trips to the Middle East. Reports that his father was once on a terror watch list. To Steve Rogers, who says it's time to reevaluate our terror strategy. Steve, welcome to the show. Thank you, Charles. In hindsight, what should we have caught here? Well, first of all, Charles, you know, we've said all along that uh, we are going to be engaged in a war unlike anything we've ever seen in the United States of America, and it's going to be here. And how do you prevent this? To answer your question, we need to get information and intelligence shared, not only on a federal level, but right down to the local cops in every street and every neighborhood across this country. We heard that after 9-11. All these different agencies had all this information. They weren't communicating with each other. Are we still here uh, 14, almost 15 years later in the same situation? They may be communicating with each other on a federal level. We're talking about CIA, FBI, and military intelligence, who, by the way, I would like to add is that I believe because of their hard work and success, we haven't had a catastrophic attack. But I challenge you and anyone to go to a local cop in a small town and ask them this question. What do you look for? What type of training have you had with regard to the collection of intelligence so that you could bring that to the FBI for analysis? The answer is going to be none. What about, uh, you know, as we dig up more information, we're finding out about trips in the Middle East, we're finding out the father was at one time uh, either on or considered for the terror watch list. We are gathering data almost every single time with one of these shooters. It looks like we've had them in our sights at one point, and they, it seems like invariably every, each time slip away. Well, they have a lot of uh, uh, answers uh, that, to, to provide. There's a lot of good questions. But we've got to stop being politically correct. This is a war. I, and, and, you know, Charles, I know we beat the drum on this, but it's, it's not only the president, it's the Congress. They need to get together. We are at war, and we've got to engage this like a war. And you do that by, through intelligence, through information, and by by taking a very strong stand overseas. What about here at home, though? If we are indeed at war, what are we being politically correct about? What should we do and stop saying or doing that we're doing wrong right now? To begin with, we don't arm our military personnel on military bases. All right? That's a politically correct decision. I believe that was made by Bill Clinton uh, years ago. We need to get the people, the American people, involved. You know, we have we've had neighborhood watch programs all over the country. Maybe we need terror watch now. We need to let people know this is what you need to look for. This is what you need to report. You know, you see something, say something, and that would be a big help. Uh, although a lot of people who actually knew this particular, uh, this shooter thought he was, uh, you know, he, he assimilated. He was on a wrestling team, didn't seem like he had a problem, looked like he was not treated or thought he was an outsider. So it would have been tougher maybe in this particular case. Maybe in the beginning, but the guy went overseas for several months. What was he doing? You know, he wasn't selling That's the red flag. Cookies. That's the red was, flag. He was probably yeah. getting training. Steve, before we go, um, McCall said it, uh, Comey said it, that this was coming. This is one hell of a wake-up call. And we knew it was coming, but this is really a, a, a tough one. It's here. The war is here. Now it's up to the federal government to do their job. I'm talking about the president of the United States and Congress. Your responsibility is to protect the American people. By golly, do it. Steve Rogers, thanks a lot. Thank you. Defense Secretary Ash